Welcome to part two of our case study EX2, where we'll continue to focus on applying key methods in the RxJava single class. Part two of this case study will apply single operators like from callable, ignore element, do on success, blocking get, on error resume next, just, map, subscribe on, and scheduler single to reduce, multiply, and display big fraction objects asynchronously. In particular, we're going to show how to use on error resume next to handle runtime exceptions. You can find the source code for this example at the link at the bottom of the slide below. We're now back in my IntelliJ project for case study EX2, where we'll continue taking a look at the various methods under test. We'll start by taking a look at the EX2 class, which provides the main entry point into the test program. We've already talked about the first two methods in our part one of this video, and now we're going to talk about the next three in this video and walk through it. Test fraction multiplication callable one will be used to test a hybrid asynchronous big fraction multiplication using a single and a callable, where the processing is performed in a background thread, but the result is printed in a blocking manner by the main thread of control. Test fraction multiplication callable two is very similar, except in this case, both the processing and the result will be printed in a non-blocking manner by a background thread. And then finally, test fraction multiplication error handling will test big fraction multiplication using a single and a callable, where the processing and the printing of the result is handled in a non-blocking manner by a background thread, and exceptions are handled gracefully. And as you can see here, we're going to register these three methods plus the earlier two that we talked about in part one of the video with our async task barrier. We're going to run all the tests, and then we're going to block the calling thread waiting for all the asynchronous processing to complete. And when we're done, we print out the number of tests that finished. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the first of these test methods, which is test fraction multiplication callable one. As you can see, all the diagnostics we printed out and the logging information we printed out in the user main thread. So we're going to go ahead and use a string builder here because we're not going to have to worry about race conditions. In this case, we use from callable, which is that factor method operator on a single. And we go ahead and have it call the callable parameter that's passed in known as s call. And as you can see here, that goes ahead and will take two big fractions, BF1 and BF2, and multiply those big fractions together. That computation will take place in a single background thread through the use of the subscribe on operator and the scheduler's single factor method that returns a single background thread. However, the calling thread, the main thread, will block until the result is finished being computed in the background thread. So once that call to block and get returns, we then take the result and we append it to the end of the string builder. We then display that by converting the string builder to a string. And the last thing we do here is we return s void s. And you can see that that is just simply a completable that's complete. And so that will be an indication to the, the async task barrier that we're all done with the computations and it can go on and see what else is, needs to be processed. Here is test fraction multiplication callable two. In this case, all the processing and all the printing will take place in a background thread. So we have to use string buffer in this case. In this particular situation, we're going to go ahead and have the from callable factor method take the s call callable again, same as it was before. That runs in a background thread using subscribe on and schedulers single as the way to create the background thread. We then go ahead and we'll call the do on success action operator which in this context will actually run in the background thread. And we use the display mixed big fraction helper method, which will append the result to the string buffer and then display it. That, as we'll see, will take place in a background thread. And the last thing we do here is we use the ignore element method in order to be able to return a completable that is a flag to the async task barrier framework that everything is, has been finished. The final method we're going to talk about here is test fraction multiplication error handling. As you can see here, we have a callable, which is parameterized by a big fraction, and we term this local variable bad call. And the reason we term it bad call is because we're going to make the denominator be zero. So anytime you take a numerator that's whatever, and you divide it by a not denominator that's zero, you're going to get the arithmetic exception, which is exactly what we're going to do in this case. We're also going to have an error handler, which is a function which will take a throwable and a single, which will be parameterized by a big fraction. And you can see what we're going to do here is no matter what happens, what exception this was, it will be arithmetic exception, of course. We're simply going to convert that into the zero value. So we say big fraction dot zero, 
return that as a just for the single operator that's a factory method operator, and that'll just convert whatever exception occurred to the value zero. So let's take a look at how this actually works. We use our from callable factory method operator again, passing in the bad call parameter, which will trigger the exception, the arithmetic exception, because we're going to be dividing by zero. We do this in a background thread using subscribe on, but unlike what we had done in the previous example, we're going to insert an on error resume next error handling operator at this point. And so when an exception occurs, the control will be transferred to on error resume next. And as we saw before, that will simply return a single with the value zero. The do on success operator will then go ahead and display the mixed fraction. And we'll see what that looks like when we run the test. And then the final thing we do here is we return the completable from ignore element. So that'll be a flag to the async task barrier that we're done with this particular test. So when we go ahead and run the test, you can see that earlier we looked at test fraction reduction async one and async two in part one of the video. Now you can see that we call test fraction multiplication callable one, and this is the result we get back. That, as you can see, runs in the main thread. Then we do test fraction multiplication callable two. That will be printed in a background thread. And then the final thing we do is test fraction multiplication error handling. And as you can see here, we get the divide by zero exception, which is an arithmetic exception. And so the result that comes back here will be a zero. But notice that we didn't blow up entirely and have that exception propagate out of scope. Instead, the on error resume next error handling operator basically swallows the exception and then returns, in this case, a zero. So the computations can continue. So that's the end of our coverage of case study EX2 for RxJava's single class.